Hey guys, this is Diego Gonzalez from Minus Diego Diablo. I missed that from MinusPaint.com, and uh, I'm streaming a Joker shirt tonight. It's super late stream, literally two hours late, but hey, I always end up showing up somehow, some way. So some good news right there. Better late than never. So I just want to uh, set up everything real fast before I go live. Make sure everything's working and all that good stuff. I think everything is working pretty good right now, so that's good. Good to go. So let me set this up real fast one more time. All right, that's working good. And hey guys, this is Diego Diablo from MindsPaint.com. And today, oh, let me work this real fast. I'm doing a Joker t-shirt. So let me set up my phone so I can see uh, everything real fast. And uh, turn it down for a minute. Awesome, there you go. Hey guys, I know it's super late, but I always end up late. Somehow, one day I'll be on time. So I'm doing a stream of a Joker shirt. So if any of you guys seen the Joker car, I painted um, some really good friends with, from Texas. Kept on getting, you know, he got uh, Paul and, the, and his family got an awesome bunch of cars painted for me over the years. And uh, I'm making this for his son because he's not, he was sick in the hospital and stuff like that and he's not doing too well. So I thought I'd do a really cool, dope Joker shirt for him, man, because I know he'll love it and he actually asked me for it before. So I'm going to hook him up. Really great guys, great people. So I thought I'd do a really cool rendition of the Joker, just like a lot of crazy, you know, detail and stuff like that. Painting in the eye. And so, uh, you know, if anybody's up, you know, with me, it's cool. I always work super late. Whenever I do my art, it's always at night. So I'm like a night owl or a zombie. Sounds cooler than I know. Vampire? I need to go with that. So the Joker has like these really crazy creases in his face. Really exaggerated and really fun to play with. Makes him super evil, super wicked, man. I see a lot of really good artists at the comic conventions, a lot of guys that do the comics, and I get to meet them, and they all have a different style, and I really like seeing that also. And it's cool, you know, they're fans of my work, and I'm like, oh, that's great, you know? And I've been fans of their work forever, so. Really cool to kind of integrate and learn from everybody, man. That's what I always say. Hey guys, hey Gustavo, hey, salud, saludos. Brenda, hey, what's going on guys? Abby, Ingrid, Chastity, a lot of, oh, a lot of guys, a lot of people here, Valerie, Richard. Hey, everyone's up late, man, that's cool. Appreciate it, I'm not the only one. So, painting in his eye, really soft, because I don't want to get too crazy with it yet. But I just kind of want to establish where the lights and darks are before I add any color. That's like more like that. It's more mean, right? His eyes are crazy like that. And just tiny wisps of paint. I think when you go in it, and whenever I do a painting, I really kind of say like sketchy or gesture drawing. Even a t-shirt, really take it serious as a painting. And that's what makes you good. Treat everything like it's, you know, a million dollar painting, a million dollar project, or whatever, a big project. And you'll get there, man. And it's cool, man. Just have fun, play around.
Hey, what's up, Jessica? Hey, Juan. All you guys, thanks for checking me out, joining me in the stream. Uh, Denise, Jose, Taylor, and all you guys, Laura. Everybody, I appreciate it. And uh, I'll pop by and look at the screen from now and then. So if, don't think I'm ignoring you. If I don't, I'm just uh, painting. Sometimes I can't see everything. But yeah, any like Joker fans, uh, I'm a really big Batman. And there's a lot of people who are uh, Superman fans. I'm more Batman. I think I like Batman, in my opinion, because he's like a real dude. And, uh, you know. And he's like, you know, he's kind of a pimp, man. He's a millionaire, billionaire, whatever. Fights crime. And so, uh, you know. Cool dude. Little notches in the nose like that. He has this little crooked indent in his nose. And this is a great thing about comic art. You can do all this little fine detail. And I can kind of speed it up a little bit so you guys are watching. Just uh, gesture that in, his cheeks. When I watch people paint, I get anxiety because I want to see it finished like right now. And... And that's kind of how I paint too. I move around a lot. David, still doing things since high school. Hey, right on, bro. Good shit. Oh, I see you at work. Right on, man. Thanks. Appreciate it for checking me out, watching my stream. Hey, Ed. What's going on, man? Jessica, he said, how do you really? But I appreciate you for watching, drop a share, like, all that good stuff. It really helps get my channel out there so other people can see it. I appreciate that. So I'm really being soft, wisping these colors in before I really make a commitment to it. <laughs> you know, guys, we kind of are terrible at committing. Well, no, but, you know. So I gotta kind of, you know, take it soft right here, and then when I feel like I, I feel like I'm, you know, I know what I'm doing. I come in there and make some hard dagger strokes, and then you really gotta kind of commit, man. I think that's the big thing about being an artist. Uh, you know, once you make those committed lines, it, it shows you have confidence. In your strokes and um in your painting and whatever no pun intended but um you know you can paint better some people watch my streams are like hey diego you think you're funny man because you make these little jokes and i'm like yes i do just me though Even if it wasn't streaming, I'd probably be just straight up talking to myself. I do that a lot. It's a weird habit I got. Just giving ideas out and talking out loud. I think I was doing that one day, like in a grocery store or something. And I was like, oh crap. Oh yeah, there's like real people around me. I forget. If I think I'm insane. So the Joker, he has like a square draw. Draw. Back to the tutorial. And, um,. Kind of square it out, and I'd like to draw first uh, if I'm doing a really kind of crazy detailed portrait, and then I'll, I'll follow kind of the lines. Similar to comic books, you'll have a, a sketch artist, someone that sketches it, um, and they're paid like a fee, and then you have an inker that goes over it, and uh, it's all art, all different styles. The ink person cleans it up and actually gives it some his own style too, so. That's cool, I like that kind of way. Kind of working way. If you're just joining me, I'm working on a Joker, I guess you'd say a portrait t-shirt thingy. Um, for Dustin in Texas from the Tobal family. Really great guys, and um, he's the one that commissioned me to do the Joker 
well, Paul's dad did, uh, the Joker uh, car, which is going to be published pretty soon. It'll be out, I think it's the 20th, the magazine comes out. I talked to the uh, publisher. And um, really great guys who want to make him a cool Joker shirt. He asked me for one, and uh, he was sick in the hospital, so I wanted to do something really cool for him. So, uh, can cheer him up, you know. So I finished the cheeks. And it's like a subtle kind of grayish tone and I mixed a separate color off camera and it's like a gray blue mixed tone it looks really cool and I'm gonna overlay it on top of this so this is kind of like the um, underpainting see all these lines everything kind of adds up Hey guys, thank you for subbing, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Always airbrushing. Yeah, thanks, Easy Airbrush. Yeah, man, I'm on it. Uh, every day, for real, I'm literally working on something. Hey, thanks for the subscribe, follow. Appreciate it, guys. I know I need to put this stream out there more. I just get so excited to do it. You know, I just get so excited. Thanks again for following. Appreciate all the good, good stuff. All you guys um, helps out my channel a lot. Get, gets my work out there. Hey, I hear the little beep going off. I don't have my uh, camera on, but I appreciate it. I have my little little thing. Oh, you know what? Ah, oh, that's what it is, guys. So. Thanks, thanks. Appreciate it. You know my pair, my, oh hey, awesome. Thanks for following, appreciate it. My camera thing, my blah, blah, blah isn't working. My camera, you know, the thing where I can see all your texts and everything. Only um, one of them is. That sucks, let me reload this so I can see who's on. Connect. All right guys, hey Janelle, love, love a good job. Thank you, David bought us a man. <clears throat> hey, do you work on bikes and cars, motorcycles? I can share the stream. Yeah, man, I do all that, David. Appreciate it, man. That'll be awesome. Share awesome. All that good stuff. So, yeah, I can do motorcycles. I, I can literally paint this on anything. It doesn't have to be a t-shirt. I just really started out doing t-shirts and got my roots in it for a lot of years. And, uh, you know, it's a lost art. And um, still got love for it, man. I got a lot of guys that really appreciate my work too, and a lot of guys paying a lot of money for my shirts still. Like literally, like insane, you know, which is awesome. Hundreds of dollars. Which is, uh, I'm really grateful for, man, and that's a testament to, uh, you know, how awesome my uh, followers are and stuff. Coming down with a really crazy stroke. Really hard line, really deep kind of in there. I love doing hair too. It's like, um, it's always wisp in there and really do a lot, to make it look really cool and detailed. It's back and forth back and forth just working it and making these little kind of lines just freehanding and going with the flow you know cool there you go so I'm just kind of doing a section at a time this hair has this like wavy kind of curve so I want to curve it and I don't know if any of you guys have been watching but I've been following um, Jim Lee I think that's what it, who it is on um, his YouTube channel. So if you guys are really into art too, 
Um, I would recommend checking Jim out, dude. He's dope. He's a really good artist. He's works. He does all the comic stuff for DC and uh, started his own company with uh, Todd McFarlane. So and one day, hopefully, I'll get to meet these guys. Maybe work on a project with them or something like that. That's my goal. If they're not too old and still like, by the time I get to that, you know, point, you know, if they're still doing stuff. And uh, yeah, so man, aim big. You know, that's all I say. I think one of the guys I would really like to meet is Todd, for sure. McFarland, he's one of my idols as artists growing up for so long. Um, he really, uh, one of the guys, a lot of guys influenced me, but he was one big guy that influenced me in the industry and um, in the comic book industry. That I really, I follow him on uh, Instagram and all that good stuff too. I just liked his work, it was so different, so, uh, you know, and that's why a lot of guys like him. So I try to integrate some of that into to mine. You know, those crazy webs and stuff, all that, you know, craziness. I was watching, uh, uh, did you do a YouTube show or something like that, or was it a video about Todd McFarlane? And he was being introduced and inter introduced, interviewed by Stan Lee. And Stan asked him a question, and this is never, something I'll, I'll never forget. He was like, um, so what makes your style different than everybody else's, and what, why did it really take off? And Todd said, um, really, very smart. Uh, he's like, well, everyone else is doing the same thing. And when I wanted to get into the comics, he said, um, he said, I didn't have to be the best. I never aimed to be better than the best guy. Oh, awesome, David. Thank you. And uh, he says, I just wanted to... He says, I just wanted to be better than the worst guy making comics. And, uh, you know, they had like a big, you know, title and stuff. And he's like, oh, you know, it's like... Because it's too daunting, right, to try to be better than the best. But, you know, he's like, I could do better than that, dude. And uh, that's where he started. And that's a really, really great way to look at it. I do that with my work too, as I rise, you know, in the industry and everything. And he also said about making like these crazy webs and stuff. He's like, everyone else did the same spidey web and I did like a bunch of crazy circles and strokes. I just, just, made some squiggly lines everywhere and everyone thought it was awesome so I was like okay I'm gonna roll with that but so now I did the the portrait kind of on the outside and now I'm just fleshing these little lines little dagger strokes kind of not really pulling on the trigger all the way like a medium a little short pull that's how it feels when I'm uh, painting. When I come in here though, I get closer and tighter and then I throw these strokes like that, like these darker ones, a lot more um, darker, a lot more pulling the trigger back, heavier lines, more committed. And I've been going to uh, invites and galleries showing and talking to a lot of artists too. And I think when we talk about our work in general and just painting and doing our art, it's, it's really nice to know that we're really talking about the same thing in the same terms. And, uh, you know, you feel like validated. I talked to a guy saying about, you know, how yeah, we sketch, but then when we come, we, we come here, we make these straight lines, these really like com committed ones. And he's like, ah, same way, man. That's how I feel. I was like, okay, that's cool.
Hey guys, thanks for watching me. Appreciate it. Uh, hey, Ergun. Hey, what's up, bro? Amy, Hector, Amanda, all you guys. Thanks for, uh, hey, Billy Bones. Dude, what's up? How's it going, man? I'm painting this cool, crazy Joker shirt. Just like wicked looking, having fun tonight. And, uh, you know, just getting down doing this thing. I like Joker, man. He's one of my... He's actually... I was on, because I'm a nerd, right? YouTube all the time. And I was seeing the worst and the best villains of all time. And Joker literally is number one. He's number one, man. And the reason they said that is... I don't know if it was just DC villains or Batman villains. I think it was like DC villains are villains of all time. It's because he, does, he doesn't give a shit, dude. He's, literally, he's insane. He doesn't care about money. He doesn't care about even dying himself just to make his own point, which he did. You know? Because that last scene of The Dark Knight, I guess that was like one of the most epic scenes because Batman let him go and he turned Batman into a murderer, which he vowed not to, to be. And even though Joker died, traditionally that would be defeated, right? Uh, he won. He beat Batman through his own mortality, which is pretty fucking deep, man. I was like, shit. That's like, that's some deep stuff right there, man. It kind of reminds me of Moriarty from uh, Sherlock. I don't know if anybody watched Sherlock, man. That's a dope show. You really got to pay attention. You got to be following a lot, though. That's, I like that. When I'm painting or doing something, I'm like, nope. No way am I putting Sherlock in the background. Joker, uh, badass, just wants to watch the world run. Yeah, I know, right? He's insane, man. Alexandra. I pronounced that right. Hey, what's going on? Hey, guys. Everybody, drop a like, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. I don't know if you're just checking me out. I am doing this Joker shirt. This Joker tee. And, uh, let's record. Try to get this thing to record. Finishing his ear. This might be a little trickier because my reference is so far off. I really don't like working like that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Kind of like a circle. Just keeping these nice shapes. I wanted to do a really good sick wicked joker some good art today because i got a lot of trolls man because i do a lot of quick stuff for my business my work you know quick art and then i film it and put it out there just to share it and people tear it apart talk so much shit and i'm like oops no okay i gotta come back and do some crazy stuff but yeah that's still <clears throat> the youtube people but um Actually, there's not that many trolls. They got like one or a few. Those are one of the videos that go pretty big. I don't know. Hey guys, thanks for joining me, checking me out. I, if you're just following me, thank you. I'm doing a custom Joker tee for the Tobalt family and Dustin in Texas. And I'm sure they're probably sleeping. So this would be a cool surprise when they wake up. I was gonna speed through this one, but nah. Nah, I'm gonna take my time. I need to finish it off camera if I got to. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's see how I feel.
Make it get really dark in there. Throw some darker lines in here. Like that. Really establish those dark darks. And everything like that. Working on... So yeah, I'm connecting two or three. Sorry, Twitch, man. I know you guys are out there and uh, feel bad because I, I, th I had my stream on and I thought I'd been seeing it. I'm like, man, no one's watching me on on, on, on that channel on Twitch, man. I'm like, what the hell? I, I don't suck that bad. And I'm like, holy crap, my thing is not set up right. I just realized that and people are watching me. Ugh, that's awesome. I feel, I feel loved just a little bit. Except if I'm not. Then I feel kinda like, oops, oops. I'm like, whatever, man. I don't let you guys any worse. So, you know how that goes. John, his ear, and this side. And I mix a lot of those uh, comic style hash hatching and cross hatching. I really like doing that. I even do that in some of the comic body art paintings I've done uh, on people. I did some comic stuff and did some cool like cross hatching and hatching and stuff. And I'm a lefty too, so I'm trying not to cover up the, the canvas and the camera too much so you guys can see. So. Hey, Jacob, Lindsay, Iwa, and Daisy. Hey, what's up? Bay, I was wondering when you to come on. So I'm finishing his ear. Yeah, I'm so upset this camera's not working. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's the level. I'm gonna take it down a notch. No? Okay, now let's see if you work. And today I'm trying not to knock over everything and I always knock over everything. All the time, every time. Maybe not today though, hopefully. Work. Okay. Let's focus on it. Then ISO, ISO, whatever, that'll work. All right guys, I'm back. Some Joker's such a cool character, man. So unique. I like it. Maybe I think it made his teeth a little too straight. Yeah, I know I did. I'm gonna give him some jagged teeth. I don't care. Joker's teeth ain't that uniform. He don't care about brushing his teeth, man. He's a Joker. He don't give no f. He don't give no jokes. I'll, I'll be the. I think I was talking to somebody. I was like, man, can you cuss on YouTube? These kids watching. And they're like, have you ever played a video game? Kids are the fucking worst people ever. Ever. They're like, talk, say so much bad stuff. Like the worst things ever. <laughs> they're like terrible. I'm like, holy crap, you're right. They're like cursing people out and trolling them and stalking them. And I'm like, okay, I guess the, the, the children aren't that innocent. Damn. Nope. Not all of them, I'm just saying the bad ones. They're super bad. People are attacking me, like, oh, Diego's only like children. I'm like, no, I didn't say that. I don't like bad kids. You know what I'm talking about. There's like, you know, that one person that's like, yeah, I know. Oh, I know. I know. Exactly.
someone that's non politically correct person. Okay, so I'm being very careful about how I'm doing his teeth, doing, you know, these really sharp lines. So we want to get it really, really done nicely. Switch this real fast. One sec, because this camera is 800. Yeah, that's good. It's a lot better. And beep, 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 hit the beep button. There it goes. Back to the thing. Watching moral decline in our society nowadays. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I think I think it's just out there more. And I was talking, watching a guy saying, he's like, no, people aren't worse. They're just more exposed. Let's go, Eugene Herrera. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, man. Just, you know, I'm just out there more. You can just see it. All right, adding some more black, mixing this real fast, and adding, like, some drops, like 10%, 12-ish percent reducer. Oh, I got a beer here. Oh, my God, yes. Can you see this on camera? Oh, yes. I can do that. So there ain't no rules in this stream game, man. There ain't no rules. Yeah. Drinking beer on the job, man. On the job. All right, back to work. before I fire myself. My camera just keeps turning off by itself and it makes me so mad. The Hulk rage is inside me. Okay, so I'm doing these little strokes by his eyes, just making them recede more, giving more depth. And his eyes, it's all really about, when you paint the Joker, it's always about the eyes. And, and and the the mouth, you know, the mouth is really prevalent. It's really signature of a Joker, and his like crazy dark eyes. It's, like really subtle, and goes into black, and it's really like this bright emerald green. It's really cool and cool looking. And he's just joining me. I'm doing a custom Joker tee, so I appreciate it. Drop a like comments, all the good stuff, helps my stream get out there, and um, I appreciate it, and uh, for you Twitch guys, the next time I'm on, man, dude, I'm going to be talking to you guys, I'm going to fix this camera thing, for real, um, this issue, because I want to uh, talk to you guys. I get really close. Sorry if you guys can't see it, but now you can see it. Um, it's really good in depth right there. Maybe that was a little too sharp right there. That's okay. Some wisp of the hair.
Uh, da -da 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 -da. Watching on my TV, 4K looks sick as hell. Seeing all the detail. Oh, dope, man. That's really cool. That's cool. Man. Yeah, those 4K TVs are super nice, man. I haven't even tried watching streams on YouTube like that. Is that you're on YouTube or Facebook? That's cool. Doing these strokes. Really like blending his hair into the t-shirt. All the way in the collar too. I think that's cool. I used to tape up this area, but I actually like painting like on the collar area. Because I think it just, I don't know, it's different. That's cool. It's like something you can't do with a printed t-shirt. It's a lot more vibrant. And I heard a bunch of guys like, oh, I can just get this printed. And I'm like, you can, but it's not going to look the same. It's just this paint paints a lot more opaque, a lot more vibrant than just something that's transferred or printed on. And it's original. My thoughts. And uh, yeah, his hair is a little too straight right here. So I'm going to curl it up. A little crazier more, man. It's Joker. It's crazy. Yeah, so if you're watching like YouTube, man, check out Jim Lee. His channel, I was watching, he goes these hour long streams, and I thought mine are long. I'm like, damn, this dude's going for like two, three hours. More than an hour, he's like three hours, four hours straight, and he got a ton of followers. I mean, he's DC, dude, of course, but I'm like, man, this is a dedicated follower, for real. I popped in, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I like fast forward and stuff. I ain't got no patience. But it's so, he's so good that if you fast forward, like, five minutes or you know two minutes like a whole scene is already painted and that's kind of how two I paint and I'm like okay that's cool there was hair out there some crazy wisps I talk about a lot of stuff. Sometimes we go off topic. Sometimes I talk about technique. You know, I don't know. If you have any questions you can ask. Um, I know me personally. Sometimes I, I get kind of bored when people just talk nothing about like technique. I like interesting kind of channels. It's a little mix of everything, I guess. Sometimes, like, see if you see right there, I kind of, like, pick the paint off of here because it dries. And this top cap, too, that will get plugged up. And if it is plugged up, every now and then I'll take the cap off and I'll look at it in the light. And I can see the hole. And if you see through it, there's no paint plugged in. If you can't, it's blocked. And that backs up your guns. And that's a big issue. Especially if you're trying to do, like, really extreme detail. Slightest deviation in your guns will uh, make the work come out like crap. I think that's what like, a lot of guys don't realize, don't realize when they commission an artist or commission an airbrush artist to paint. I'm like, you gotta be really good at knowing not just how to paint, and that's hard enough as it is, but you have to also know the technical things with a gun and every little thing that goes wrong and how to fix it and how to make that work to make it, you know, so that's like super specialized, like a damn like super technician, you know? But it pays off if you know it and if you do it right. Anybody who watches my work, you know, you can be the judge of that.
All right, that's cool. And definitely like in this cheek area is a really dark, heavy shadow. And um, hey guys, hey Ashley, Tasha, David, almost looks like 3D on the screen. Yeah, man, that's dope. I have to check that out too. And if you have Mixer, you can stream on also if you ever heard of that stream. Um, yeah, I'm using something like that. Um, but one of the things isn't connecting right to a channel, so I'm not be able. To, I'm not seeing their comments. That kind of sucks. But I'm gonna fix it. Let's try to fix it tonight if I can. There's so much cool stuff out there. Like, I don't even know the half of it. Like, I'm, you know, trying to get up to date on everything. So if any of you guys see any cool stuff, you're like, hey, man, this would be cool for your channel, man. I'll, you know, let me know, man. I'm always open to suggestions to improve my channel. I'm a, I'm a nerd. But I'm cool. I'm like the cool nerd, I think. I think they're all actually cool. Cause we're always talking about art or painting, you know, stuff I like, or like, you know, creating a Netflix special or, you know, really cool stuff. Like, Hey, you know, I'm working on this project, this project. So I like really being around creative people, especially since I've been out there in Hollywood and worked with a lot of guys out there. Uh, and, uh, got to shadow a lot of them and meet a lot of people in uh, Vegas. Uh, really some of the great editorial editors and photographers of the you know 21st 20th century I met some guys amazing I worked for all the Esquire magazines and just cool so that's really good that's good maybe some little strokes in here I, want, I don't want to lose the details, so I'm really sifting over these strokes lightly. But making it a little darker to establish the detail more. Ho, ho, ho. Um, this is definitely not the Why So Serious Joker because this dude looks fucking crazy as hell. I mean, the Joker in The Dark Knight, I mean, he was crazy, but he didn't really like... He look, I guess he did look super crazy. I don't know, I guess he didn't have like the crazy, like hysterical laugh. Did he? Or am I wrong? He was kind of like a crazy chill Joker. This guy is just like, this dude is like, needs some treatment, like medication or some shit. Um, That is cool. I like that. Do I want to hard outline everything now? Maybe not. I think I'm going to wait on that. I don't want to get too outliney yet. Maybe I'll throw some harder lines in there too. Still have to come back and clean it up after I do this next layer anyways. So let's do the background real fast while I'm at it. Tasha, are you gonna be at any of the other fairs, festivals? Yeah, I'm gonna be at blah, blah, blah. Um, I think the Pierogi Fest. Um, I'm talking with Lollapalooza. I got um, some other ones. I think I'm gonna put it on my website. 
and I'll, I'll put it up there too. I'll put it up here in Facebook too of uh, the events and stuff I'm going to do. So yeah, definitely come check me out if you I'm out at an event. I usually announce it like within that weekish or so and uh, tell people where I'm going to be at. So I don't even know what time we're at right now. Do not have a clock or a watch. I think we're maybe still within the hour. It's 11.36. We're on that. Central time. I forgot what time I started. I mix like together like a medium gray. And I'm just using this as kind of like a mid-tone. Between the painting. To blend everything. You give it a little extra like depth and detail in it. And then I'll come back with some white and really knock out some highlights too. I was gonna use a lot more gray, but I really filled it in pretty well already with that uh, black and just blending it in. And that's a nice thing about black, you really blend it and you pull back and really light with it and make a gray. Um, but it looks always nicer if you mix your own, if you have the time. And usually I'm, I don't, I'm really like working on something, I gotta get it out right now. That's good. I think I'm good with the gray. Really gray. But it will not be gray soon. We'll see. I got a plan, man. I got a plan. All right. Hey guys, uh, thanks for joining me, Nikki Cadence, Mike, all you guys for checking me out. If you're checking me out, I'm doing a custom Joker shirt. Um, my friends in Texas, the Tobal family, really good people, really great guys, uh, full family, guys and gals. Um, so they commissioned me to do the Joker car and a few other cars. I think three or four all together, uh, all themed Joker. And um, I want to make him this really cool, cool shirt for their son Dustin, and he just got the hospital, and uh, I want to make him something cool. I thought I'd go all out, do some crazy Joker art on it. So I'm adding a tint of blue. I'm still really following the. Um, the patterns with this and not just spraying it over just crazily like the Joker uh, really being conscious of where I put the paint and that like um, you know that works really well like kind of David said the 3D-ish effect that's what makes it look kind of 3D is making these little strokes little details and they all add up to the finished kind of piece of product. Just this. So 
So that looks good. Seems more blue in here anyways. On this side. And his hair. And then I can go with a cool, vibrant, if I have enough of this color, I think I do. If I do, that'll be super great. If not, I'll wing it. It's purple, man. I love purple. It's such a really pretty color. And it's cool for guys. You know, guy can say pretty. I still think something's pretty. And big mask on. Artist, man. Artist. Yeah, I love that color. My mom was an artist, she really crafty, very aesthetic. She really could appreciate beauty and the aesthetic. And that's where I get all of my, just wanting to be an artist in the first place. Um, she always, every Christmas, every Halloween, every holiday, she makes you know, Easter, make Easter bunny baskets for us, design our costumes from scratch. And um, you know, growing up, I just thought that was the greatest thing ever. And I was like, that's something to do with my life. That's something worth doing. You know, and growing up, she always encouraged me. She's like, you know, like, yeah. I'm like, hey, can I do this? I'm like, yeah. For like a living. She's like, yeah, why not? And so a lot of parents, you know, don't discourage their kids from becoming an artist. They're not going to make any money. And blah, 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 you know. And she was never like that. She was like, yeah, you're going to be the best. I always encourage me. I don't think without that I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I know I would definitely wouldn't be doing this, and uh, especially without encouragement, I would be as far as I am now uh, with my career and everything. And, uh, you know, something to appreciate every day. So that's my little story about my mom. I like talking about her a lot. She loves when I talk about her. So, that's why I do it. But uh, back to the Joker. Thinking in the Joker. I don't know why I say it. Like, I'm like, the Joker. Oh, yeah. They have the extra R on there. The, you know. Because he's like crazy. And just call him the Joker. You have to have some kind of inflection in that man. So I made his lips purple, but watch, I'm gonna make it red. So soon I am going to make it red. I'm just using it as a base uh, color to brighten it up. So when you add red on top of it, I'll explain it right now, it, it'll be more vibrant than if you just added pure red. And I like to do that a lot with fluorescent colors because they have that really cool fluorescent breakdown in them that makes it sick. And what a fluorescent color is, uh, if anybody kind of wants to have a little explanation, is that it's the chemicals of the paint that are actually dissolving. They're, the bonds in them are breaking apart and it releases a bright, vibrant chemical. And it's a reaction that causes this, this fluorescent color. So that's why a lot of fluorescent colors aren't light fast because they're constantly breaking down as a paint, as a paint agent. So if you're ever doing like a motorcycle or a car, be very careful about using fluorescents because those are literally uh, evaporate out of the paint, even if it's clear. Believe me, I've done it before. I'm like, oh, shit. nothing big, but you know, I'm just like, yeah, it's not, it's not good. Finish all this purple right here, purple up here. Move this down, this little clippy clip. Hey guys, hey Brandon, Mike, Cadence, Nikki, everybody for joining me. Appreciate it, uh, if you're still here. And uh, you know, doing Joker car, Joker car, doing Joker shirt. 
for the Tobal family, and they commissioned me to do the Joker car. If anybody you guys have seen that one, um, so I'm just doing something cool, nice for the family. And uh, if you guys are watching, please uh, share, like, comment, all that good stuff helps me get my stream out there, and uh, appreciate that so much, very much, very mucho. So I'm looking for my reducer. So I can reduce this a little bit. And I usually mix it up a little bit too, and I reduce it. And then I want to use this cool template. Very cool template. Bah. Splashy splashed it. Okay. All right, Diego. I'm getting too excited. I didn't put the cap on. Let me switch this real fast. Good thing this is a um. Zoom out. Zoom out. This is the pack round. I would have been so mad. All right. Happy little accent. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Diego Diablo from MinusPaint.com and I'm doing a custom Joker shirt. And uh, if you guys are watching, drop a share, like, all that good stuff. And appreciate it, it helps my channel out. Just wanted to do something really wicked and detailed. And I wasn't actually even planning on doing something super detailed like this. But I got inspired, man, as I kept on building it together. Like, oh, that'll be cool. Oh, that Joker would be cool. So I kept an updating the ante, putting like a, a more wicked Joker on there. And this purple is super, super pretty. Um, I disappeared and now I appear. I want to add some flames. And this is actually a, a compliment to the Joker car for the Tobal family. They're the people, awesome people, that helped commission my uh, the Joker car for me to paint the Joker car. And it's so cool. They always enter all these car competitions and. They've won a lot of car competitions with my work, and I just, that's super cool that they, you know, enter all those and put it out there for me, and so I always appreciate that. Are you gonna, uh, so hey guys, thanks for joining me, and like I said, if you're out here, drop a share, like, all that good stuff, appreciate it, helps me out a lot, and uh, if you're just joining me, I'm painting a Joker shirt, and uh, from the DC, man, the DC family, I'm a Batman guy. I just I like Batman. Um, I think I was talking about that earlier. Because, you know, Batman is kind of like a real dude. Kind of. Even though he's like a billionaire or whatever. You know, I just see dude fighting crime. Yeah. I think we'll go right to that. So I'm using this template for these freehand uh, flames. They have these curves. So every time I reposition a flame, I'll move the curve and adjust it to give it that cool flame effect. And I'll taper it off like at the end. Like that, see? See how cool that comes out? Kind of repositioning it all over the background. These tiny wisps, tiny flames, and building them up over and overlapping each other. Giving it some depth and dimension. Really giving it some character.
going to flames down here. And I'm not sure if the camera can even see that far. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, I can see that far, that's cool. Sometimes it's cut off my stream. Depending on what I'm working on, I'll set up different angles. So I'm not sure what people can I can't see. But that's cool. All these cool flames, making all this detail in here. That's cool, I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, I'll do some hair and then I'll kind of, you know, taper it in. But I want to move on to the hair. I think that'll look pretty cool. That'll look pretty sick. Adjust the lighting too. Add and mix this up a little reducer. Mix it up, mix it up. Oh, let's see if this works. Oh, I don't plug it in. Oh, I gotta plug that in. Oh, the UV light. I was thinking that looked really super sick on this thing. So yeah, I think I'm gonna walk off camera a minute and plug it in because that that just made me excited. I know this is gonna look cool under the UV light. Bam. This is super vibrant, uh, fluorescent green. And see how that really brings out the painting? Really brings out Joka. Okay, so I called him Joka. Oh yeah, very cool. You know what, I'm gonna go up with this. Like that, I think, well, I really like that. Insane. It's like the crazier is the better, the crazier looking for this piece. Bam. Oh, his eyes that color? Yes. Oh, yes. Love it. <laughs> that looks crazy. Love it. All right, let me put this back. All right, I'm gonna bounce off camera real fast. Bizounce. Oh, that, that's definitely not cool. Okay, that wasn't cool, bizounce. Definitely gonna not use that word again. Um, and turn on this UV light. Oh yes, that looks so much cooler. I'm so glad I did it. And you know what I did? I found my chips. Found my chips. Oh. Okay. You know, that's all I was thinking about this stream is my chips. For real. I was like, man, I really want these chips. And I got them because I'm spoiled like that. Do what I want sometimes. All right, so the next thing I'm doing is adding white highlights. I think that'll be cool. Uh, actually, no, that's a lie. I'm not doing white highlights. I'm doing yellow for his teeth and his eyes.
let that set in there. Maybe like tint his eye a little bit with his yellow. Okay, now this definitely is crazy ass Joker, dude. He's all like UV'd out and he looks insane and I love it. I don't even know how this looks on camera, but hopefully it looks cool. And thank you guys for watching me. Drop a like, share. Hey, Michael. Like Barth, what's going on, man? Thanks for the like, thumbs up. Like, share, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. It helps my channel get out there more, which is always good. And uh, all that good stuff. That helps me out a lot. And um, so I'm adding some UV to here, some ultraviolet colors. And these are really cool because they glow under fluorescent lights. So I hooked up some fluorescent lights. If you're just checking it out and, uh, you know, hope and uh, just playing around with it, you know. Move that so I can set this up. And uh, there you go. It's all good now. So hey guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for checking out my stream. Um, what color is this? This is a violet. Okay, cool. So adding more black in here. What I can do is what I like to do. Wow. Turn up, turn up. Uh, is add a little bit of a deeper color in here, which is a violet to his hair to darken it. And it's not black but it acts like a black. Well, actually, no, this is a violet and then it's a phthalo, phthalo green. Insane. Swirls in there. I'm gonna swirl, the swirl. I think Joker looks super crazy, and that's good. Crazy is good. That's what I'm going for. I'm just layering wet colors on top of wet colors which I don't usually like to do, but this is blending really nice, so I'm going with it. in the colors up here so you guys can really see how these shirts these crazy kind of shirts are made from start to finish and um yeah that's what i kind of like showing i feel like i'm blocking this and then i'll let that dry for a minute and where's my blow dryer and i'll dry the shirt real fast I kind of go over these areas. Make sure that uh, the heat is really warm, really hot. Make sure it's in the highest setting. And dry it really good. Just really just go over areas and then it'll dry slowly. Well, it'll accelerate the drying actually, it'll dry faster.
especially the um, the fluorescent colors, those take a lot longer to dry. Their properties are just different, so that you know that's what it does. Adding some, adding some more phthalo green to the painting. So all my Twitch people too, man, uh, if you're watching, thanks, I appreciate it. I can't see the comments though. I didn't, I thought I had it set up so I could, so I'm not ignoring you. Uh, sorry, I'm, I just realized that today, tonight actually, when I was doing the stream live. And, uh, but I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out and checking me out. Next streams, I promise I'm gonna have it fixed. Probably thinking like, this guy sucks. He's ignoring us. I'm like, no, I'm not. I swear I'm not. Really deepening up the shadows, making them dark. Blending them really well. Oh, that's a great in here. That's cool, that's cool. Then some white highlights, and then I'm gonna fix that mouth, which I don't like. Do I have the color to fix it? Maybe empty this one out first, and I can do it. Show my signature lines in here. And tell my stuff from everybody else's. Purple, white, and then fix the teeth, and then I think I'm good. I'm good to go. Yeah, I want to step up my game, do some better work on here, these streams, even though it takes longer. Michael Barth, bad job. Thank you, man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, you know, I just want to step up my game. I'm getting hit by a lot of trolls online, talking crap about work. Because I'm doing all this insane stuff in just like an hour, and um, I'm like, you know what, next stream, I'm going to take my time. I'm still doing it fast, but... I'm really gonna make it epic in all my work from now on because man, I can't stand those trolls.
little more purple, purpula. How do you say it in Spanish? Purpula, viola, violeta, something like that. It's been a while. I mean, most artwork and most artists take days to complete a work, too, so. I always keep on posting stuff I do, like, every day. So, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm learning to, to make my daily stuff better and better, which is fine, which is good. Always good. to keep his lips like this purple I think it just works you know what let me add let me Let's see how that looks I like that, I like that actually see the purple see how the purple uh, deepens up the phthalo green. And the deeper you make your colors, uh, the more detailed, quote unquote, and the more it pops. You can really make it jump out from everything and actually minimally we use black too, which is always good because it, it doesn't kill it, it doesn't mute it, as neutral tones do. All right, let me empty out this color and then the last colors I want to add are with that white red I think I'm good I said that about like 10 minutes ago 20 I think, think I'm good and then I keep on adding a little thing but uh, hey Cynthia Vega hey it's amazing thank you Cynthia I appreciate it drop a share uh, and uh, all, like helps out my channel a lot I appreciate it and uh, gets my stream out there to everybody this is helping me out a lot. I appreciate everyone that's watching, everyone that comes in, says hi, and just checks me out and uh, shows some love. So I'm kind of erasing this hard line I did earlier when I first started the stream, if anybody's watching. And um, because I made his mouth too straight. I was following a reference, and the reference did that too, which is like, what the hell? I really think Joker doesn't really have straight teeth, especially a crazy ass Joker. You know that dude does not brush his teeth or do like normal dental care. This stuff is going to be all crazy jacked up. So I always see this, I'm like, and I'm the worst person, person to ever watch a movie with, because I'll point shit like this out all the time. I'm like... Oh yeah, the Joker's so crazy, but he has straight teeth. Uh, he doesn't care about anything, but except his dental care. I'm like, yeah, no. So I think you gotta keep it consistent. That's what I'm saying. And I watch movies. There's a few good movies that that actually did that. I don't really like. I'll show a lot of love for those movies. Like, yeah, that's some real, real stuff right there. How, how detailed I want to go with that tint. I don't think I want to go too far with that actually. I 
there is like an overlying thing I do with my paintings that I realize that I, I'll do one side predominantly one color, like the right side, or you see it's more greenish tones, and this side is more like a brighter yellow. I just I don't I don't think about doing that. I think it's like, but when I finish, I'm like, oh, they're all the you know you know I have this kind of theme in my paintings. I guess that's a stylistic, what you call style. And everyone has it in their own work. And the thing is, like, you just got to notice your own now. Um, and it's not so easy. And I had an artist this, uh, this event, and he was like a caricature artist. Awesome caricature artist. Really great artist. And he pointed that out in my work, some things out in my work. And I thought that was really cool of him to really give me some tips. Um, you know. Take uh, advice and everything from everybody. That's how you get good, even when you're already, you know, good. So you get great. You turn up this ISO. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm knocking in some highlights right here, right? But it's that little subtle, just these little things like this that really make your work stand out. I, you know, I read a, I think it was a book about art and said the last 10 or 5% makes your work, uh, you know, it's like 90% better than, you know, so. When I get to the end and I get really like excited to just stop, you know, and uh, you know I'm pretty near it. I am near it. I think of one more thing. What's one more thing you can kind of add? And that's really helped me out a lot. And sometimes I don't even know. Sometimes I just experiment. And we'll see if this works. So adding on top of that, this really pretty bright fluorescent yellow. And I'll dry it real fast. How that pops, right? Totally changes the whole painting. Look at that. Just playing around, just experimenting.
bam. And then add the red in there, and then sharpen up the blacks, and then we're good. I actually probably end the stream now. If I do, if I can. Dump some black, dump some black. I just dump some red in there real fast. Throw those trippy joker lines. Hey Janelle, this is great. Thank you, appreciate it. If you're just watching my channel, uh, drop a like, co uh, comment, or just share it. Appreciate it. Oh, that really helps to get out there. It helps to work it out there. And uh, yeah, man. Good stuff. There you go, that's cool. I think that's pretty sick. Made him like super crazy now. If he already wasn't. Uh, okay. So. Appreciate it, guys, for watching my stream. Awesome. All you guys rock. And um, I just want to... Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. I was going to end it. That's good. That's great. What pressure you put it on with the compressor? Janelle, oh yeah, I use like 50, I think it's like 50 ish, 60 ish PSIs. It's pretty high because I'm using the uh, Wicked Paints. Um, but the Wicked Paints 
a more vibrant. I like them. Uh, they have a really nice vibrancy to them. And uh, I have learned that how to run these on higher PSI to shoot them out smoother when I reduce it also to about like 10%. So 10% ish, depending on what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get softer lines, but less dark. It'll be um, like 20. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what kind of uh, kit you get? What kind of airbrush you got? Oh yeah, definitely. Check out my videos, check out my streams, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Very mucho. Just adding in that final detail, the white. Highlights, really mapping out the planes of the face. That's pretty cool. I think that's cool. That's good. Um, now, if I had my top to this gun, that would be nice. So I don't spill it all over the canvas. Point zero. I'll definitely watching all your videos. Point. Oh, right on, man. Yeah, thank you. Right on. Huh. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, for every follow, every subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, just, you know, just trying to put my work out there. And uh, trying to help everyone too, you know, just of any anything I, I know in the industry, because you know, I get kind of jaded, you know, I was asking a lot of people for help and they weren't, and then you know I got really good to a point where I'm like, well, you know, I don't need anybody's help anymore like that, so I'm just helping other people, kind of as much as you know, all the people I can, you know, you get it. Each one, teach one. Just pushing the blacks further, further back and not trying to lose my mid-tones That's why I'm doing it.
that's why I get a little quiet. So I'm really focusing on that. That's super important when you finish at the end. It's like you put all the work into it, right? So you might as well finish it strong, do it right. I killed my battery and my iPad. Wow. Like, dude, I'm tired. I, it's like, I just want to get some sleep, man. Why are you still up? Drill. Powering down. Refocusing my eyes because I'm tired and it's late. Did I drop my contact? Maybe. Maybe. Back of focus. Cool. So trolls on the internet try to troll this one, which I'm sure they will. Play that's the Joker, blah 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 Joker. I'm like, oh my god. Dude. Quit. Not. Not. Never. That looks pretty crazy. This dude is insane. Um, I wish I had more white so I could bring it out. I do, but it's kind of dirty-ish. Janelle, dang, master. <laughs> Getting there. Got a few projects I'm working on. I'm really gonna wow everybody. So I got them really like in my head and some crazy out there kind of projects. I like doing these. These kind of, to me, are like a study of color. That's how I see them. But everyone sees differently, you know, people work. And that's the cool thing about it. It can be interpreted and all that stuff. Even like uh, 
who was like Picasso and some of the greatest artists, like some of the work that they didn't like the least is the ones that were the more sought after, the more famous ones. And that's how they're like, I hated that painting, you know? Like, who was it, uh, Leonardo da Vinci? Or no, who was it, uh, Raphael painted the Sistine Chapel? Raphael? Hated it, hated that project. I just hear him laughing like insane in my head. Like, oh, that's what I hear right now. Just... Oh, you know what? I forgot. No, this is cool. I'm so glad it didn't stop. But there's a contact literally lost in my eye and it hurts. And I need to stop. For real, I need to stop. <laughs> Never. We're doing a little homage. And if you guys want some custom templates, hit me up. I make them all. Monuspaint.com. It's my little spiel. They really know they're super dope. Help your art and uh, make mamula, all that stuff. So I'm doing like a homage to all the Batman's logos, man. With the upside down bats. throughout all the years. This is a little Easter egg. I don't know if anybody's gonna pick that one up, maybe, probably. My contact is lost in my eye, but it must, the show must go on. I'm left eyed right now. It's all right. Seeing is overrated anyway. Bam, all the Batman logos from all the years, baby. We just did that tonight. I feel like I have accomplished something great. And then I'm gonna make a Hot Pocket and that's gonna be my greatest accomplishment too.
doing some ha 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 some kill the bat some Harley with a little heart. Mr. J, if anybody can read my writing, got all the hidden messages in here, man. Throw Dustin's name in there. See if he finds it. Don't tell him. Oh, I gotta put my name in there somewhere. Come on. Okay, yeah, I gotta do that. That has to happen. Ha! <laughs> there goes Diego. Yeah, man, this shit's a ton of fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. So that's cool. Top code to seal it. Love it. Dang. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use a, uh, a, uh, first I'm going to heat press it really good. And that seals it really well. And then I'm going to use a spray fixative that's used for acrylic paints for paintings. And that will feel like the really protective coat on top of that. It's like a non yellowing. I'm pretty sure that, that that'll work. He's crazy. I think I'm doing some more drill, but this guy's like insane, right? Okay, that's good. Diego's going to sleep. And um, I'm gonna sign it real fast. Diablo. Two thousand eight, baby. My D's funky, but Whatevs. All right, guys. Thank you for sharing, uh, checking out my stream. And uh, here's the finished uh, Joker piece. Uh, everything all done, all crazy. And I'm super glad I did this tonight. Had a lot of fun and uh, didn't take too long actually. What time is it? Oh crap, it's almost one. Okay, it did take long. Well, not that long for, you know, art. But I'm out of here guys. Thank you so much for checking me out and, uh, and watching my stream, which well, I'm tangled up in my own web of airbrushes. And, um, all right, so check me out again next Thursday at 9 o'clock if I'm on in time. And see you again. Later.